Hi, I'm Josh Norm, an applications engineer here at Silicon Labs. Since we've released our first family of Precision 32 32-bit microcontrollers, we have seen a ton of interesting and unique ways of using the part that we never even thought of. Today, I want to share with you one of the most interesting ways we've seen the part used, Utility Class D Audio. What we've done is we've used existing blocks on the part to implement a Class D audio amplifier on the silicon. First, the enhanced programmable counter array is used to generate a high frequency differential PWM signal with a duty cycle that is modulated by an audio signal. This looks just like the output of a Class D audio amplifier. Then the signal is output on the high drive ports which can source and sync enough current for the part to directly drive speakers. Add a little bit of a filter to smooth out the resulting signal and we end up with a pretty good sounding Class D amplifier. Of course, being a general purpose MCU, we can do a whole lot more than just drive a speaker. So, we've wrapped up a few of our favorite MCU audio capabilities into the Class D toolstick board that you see here. This board can consume audio from four sources. It can use the onboard ADC to sample a microphone. It can use the ADC to sample a line in jack, which in this case is connected to a phone. It can use USB to connect to the PC as an audio class device. And it can read audio data stored in the flash. Once audio is in the system, it can be sent to the speakers using utility class D. We also have the option to push it up to the PC over USB or to save it to flash. Finally, we use the MCU's capacitive controller to implement a user interface consisting of a capacitive slider and some LEDs. At the beginning of this video, you heard the board acting as a Class D audio amplifier, bringing data down from the PC and using it to drive the speakers. There are several other modes that can be used with this board, including a simple voice recorder and the ability to drive the speakers from any device with a line audio output or a simple headphone jack. For example, this cell phone. Of course, the real question is can we use this in a real system or is it simply a science project? Well, think of all the applications that have an MCU today that would benefit from being able to add sound. What if the MCU in the medical devices that's already being used to take measurements and sense buttons could directly drive a speaker and allow that device to speak instructions and results as well as displaying them? What if the MCU controlling motors and LEDs in a toy train or a toy car could be used to add sound effects? For applications like these, we don't need high fidelity audio. We just need something that sounds good, is power efficient, easy to implement, and very low cost. That's exactly what the Silicon Labs Utility Class D Amplifier delivers. For more information on our Class D audio toolstick and our family of Precision 32 MCUs, check out our website.